today on the bench, I have a Rockman soloist in for repair. This unit was shipped to me after my customer pulled it out of storage and could not get it up and running. As soon as I got the amp open, I immediately saw some pretty intense corrosion damage on the battery board, which was most likely caused by somebody accidentally leaving their batteries inside of their amp when it was placed in storage. Located inside of batteries is electrolyte, most commonly potassium hydroxide. The electrolyte inside of batteries will naturally begin to break down over time, which leads to the release of hydrogen gas inside of the battery. This release of hydrogen gas causes the battery to build up pressure. Once the pressure reaches its breaking point, it will burst through the case of the battery and begin to leak out electrolyte. When this electrolyte comes into contact with traces or other components, it can be a death sentence if not properly neutralized and removed from the board. After removing, cleaning, and neutralizing the corrosion on the battery board, as well as the battery springs and contacts, I then inspected the wires that connected the battery board to the main amp board and saw corrosion on the tips of the wires. A little known fact about corrosion is that it can actually migrate from one board to another via wires. After following the wires from the battery board to the main amp board, I saw corrosion on the surrounding traces and knew that these wires would need to be replaced and the affected area neutralized. After removing the old wires, I decided to pull back the sheeting off of one to show how the corrosion could work its way up the wire, infecting other boards. After removing the wires and replacing them with new ones, I then removed and neutralized the corrosion on the main amp board. After that, I did a full recap of this amp before reassembling and testing it out. I post a wide variety of musical instrument repair content daily, so if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and follow for more.